The Kansas State School for the Blind presents the Yoga and Mindfulness Challenge 2023, Day 1. This video has audio description and subtitles. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 2023 5-Day Yoga and Mindfulness Challenge. Yoga is the perfect activity to help you step away from your busy day and relax for just a few moments. It's an amazing way to exercise because it can calm your mind and build strength and flexibility in your body. It's also an exercise you can do almost anywhere. Each day we're going to start with a mindfulness practice that you can take with you throughout your day. Today will be box breathing. During a stressful or anxious moment, you may find that your breathing gets faster, your heart starts to race, and maybe your stomach starts to feel tight. The important thing to remember is to focus on slowing down your breathing. Box breathing places the focus on your breath as well as slowing down the breath and in turn, slowing down your mind. This technique has four parts, just like the sides of a box or a square. Let's use a metronome as we practice box breathing for five cycles, which will include a deep inhale, a hold, a slow exhale, and a hold, each for four seconds. Are you ready? Okay, I started the metronome. When you do this on your own, you can use the metronome if you want, or you can go without it. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three. Last time. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Let me stop that metronome. Breathe normally. And if you're not already there, move on to your yoga mat. We're going to start today's practice where you're gonna get a yummy full body stretch. Start at the top of your mat. I'm standing with the long sides of my mat underneath my arms. My toes are about a foot away from the short end of my mat and the rest of the mat is out behind me. Your feet are hip width apart, arms by your sides. Stand straight and tall and turn your palms forward. You are in mountain pose, Tadasana. Take a deep breath here and feel the length of your body from the bottoms of your feet to the top of your head as you press the top of your head toward the sky. Exhale as you feel the strength of your strong feet pressing into the mat. Inhale and lift your arms out to the sides, turning your palms up to the sky and bringing your hands up over your head. Exhale as you turn your palms toward the floor and lower your arms back down to your sides. Inhale, lift those arms up to the sky again. Exhale, bring your arms back down to your sides. My beautiful mountains, now we will do some slow spinal rolls. Your arms are straight with your hands resting gently on the fronts of your thighs on your hips or right below them. Tuck your chin in toward your chest. Curve your spine as you slowly slide your hands down the fronts or sides of your legs toward the floor, feeling each bone of your spine, called the vertebrae, curve forward and down. You can keep your knees straight or bend them slightly. Now that we're down here, let's roll back up slowly and gently use your strong back as you uncurl your spine 
Slide those hands up your legs as your vertebrae slowly stack one on top of the other until you are standing straight and tall with your chin parallel to the floor. One more time, tuck your chin and roll those vertebrae down and forward as you slide your hands down the fronts or sides of your legs, moving closer to the floor. Rest your fingertips on the mat, your fingers spread open like a starfish, in front of your feet and shoulder width apart, making sure to bend your knees however deeply you need to. Keep your hands where they are. Now put your weight on your hands and your right foot and send your left foot toward the back of the mat. The bottoms of your left toes will press into the mat with your heel up in the air. You are now in a low or runner's lunge on Janasana. Feel free to let your right knee come down toward the mat if that's where you need to be. Remember to always listen to your body and do what is right for you. Let's add a sweet little twist here. Keep your left hand on the mat and staying in this lunge, lift your right arm out to the side and up toward the sky. Turn your face and your chest toward your right hand and feel this little twist. Lovely work. Step forward with your left foot. Your feet are side by side again. Now roll upward, straightening your spine back out and lift your arms out to the sides and up as you take a big inhale. Exhale as you lower your arms and roll your way back down with your starfish fingertips resting lightly on the mat, shoulder width apart and in front of your feet. Let's go to the other side. Keeping your hands where they are, put your weight into your hands and your left foot and reach that right foot behind you, coming into a low lunge again. The bottoms of your right toes will press into the mat with your heel up in the air. Remember to let your left knee come down to the mat if you need to. Let's do that twist. Keep your right hand on the mat and staying in this lunge, lift your left arm out to the side and up toward the sky. Turn your face and chest toward your left hand and inhale in this twist. Exhale. Bring your left hand back down to the mat in front of your left foot. Step forward with your right foot, making sure your feet are still hip width apart. From here, staying in this bent over position, place your hands on your legs above your knees. You can position your hands however you like. I have my palms on my legs with my thumbs on the insides of my thighs, my fingers wrapped around my legs with my fingertips on the outer sides of my thighs. Straighten your elbows and as you do this, press your ribs toward the floor and you will feel your back straighten out. You are now in flat back which we will use several times this week. Now slowly roll your back up to standing, lift your arms out and up toward the sky, and stretch that body long. Keeping your left arm up, lower your right arm to your right side, pressing your right hand into your right thigh. Bend gently to the right, and your left hand reaches slightly to the right, Hold here in this standing side bend, Parjva Tadasana. Bring your body back to center, keeping your left arm up, and send your right arm back up to the sky next to your left. Lower your left arm down to the left side and press your left palm into your left thigh. Bend slightly to the left and your right hand reaches slightly to the left. Hold. Return your body to center and bring your left arm up overhead to meet your right. Inhale and reach all of your fingertips up, up, as high as they can go. Exhale as you bring your palms together overhead. Inhale as you slowly bring those pressed palms down past your face and they come to rest right in front of your heart. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today for this short but energizing full body stretch. 
I wish you a peaceful heart and a calm mind. I'll see you tomorrow for day two of the Yoga and Mindfulness Challenge. The logo for the Kansas State School for the Blind, a flying blue eagle in the center of a red and yellow sunflower, fade to black.